future of the Federal Reserve moving forward today. The Senate Banking Committee is expected to vote on advancing President Trump's pick to lead the Federal Reserve. Jay Powell. Joining us right now to talk more about that is Oppenheimer Fund's Chief Investment Officer, Krishna Mamani. Krishna, it's good to have you on the program today. Thank you so Thank much you. for joining us. Jay Powell, you think he gets the nomination? How does he change the Fed and impact on markets? I think it, the, the best thing about Jay Powell is the fact that nothing at the Fed is going to change. Uh, they have articulated a philosophy of being gradual, and I think that's how it is going to play out. And that was a, that was a big thing for the markets. That is, we were very worried about uh, the regime changing at the Fed, and the fact that uh, Jay Powell got nominated was a good thing. You know, we were just talking about the backdrop in terms of investing, and it's really this tax plan. Lindsay, you've got numbers in terms of what this tax plan means for earnings in 2018. Right, yeah, exactly. What I'm seeing, 8 to 9 percent additional growth on top of the 10.7 percent growth expected in 2018. That's a now, big deal. That's a big deal, but it is partially priced into the market, I think. I, I Does think that make you nervous? But 19 percent earnings growth for 2018? Wow. So Partially priced in is, I think, the right assessment. I think the market, once uh, everything is done, the markets are probably going to have a, uh, another run uh, for the next six months. And after that, we'll go back to the, uh, the trend growth rate, the earnings growth rate, uh, the 10 percent number that you were talking about earlier. What I think is partially going to help that is you're seeing the correlations among the equity markets um, you know, loosen up. And that's helping the market continue to go higher. Do you expect that to continue over the next six months? We're also seeing rotations into sectors that underperformed. Sure. So I, I think the rotation that we are seeing in the marketplace right now is being driven by certain sectors that, that had significantly higher effective tax rates. So as their tax rates come down, their earnings are going to be better, so they are outperforming. I think for longer-term investors, what they have to focus on is w which sector of the economy has better prospects. And those are the sectors that did really well in 2017. It's tech, it's uh, uh, far, you know, biotech. How about financials? Uh, financials, I think, are in a good place. Financials right now have decent fundamentals. Uh, slightly higher rates help us, and, and uh, the lower tax rate certainly helps us as well. Yeah, I've been overseas in the last few months quite a bit. Is it significant optimism uh, just returned from the Far East in terms of their markets. Is that what you see as well? Yes. So we, we, we think international markets offer better value than U.S. markets, despite the fact that U.S. is probably going to go up in 2018. And a couple of reasons for that. Uh, European economy continues to surprise us on the upside. Uh, valuations are significantly better. Things in emerging markets are looking quite good. Uh, growth is going to be stable to better less China dependent, deeper, you know, countries like Brazil that were having a recession a year, two years ago, may grow at three, four percent next year. So I think the picture internationally is looking very, very good and attractive to us. By the way, what do you think happened yesterday? Market was up big early in the day and then ended up up just a, just a fraction. Well, Still I, at another all time high. I get that. You know, I, I think we are basically playing through all the all the things that are happening in the market. The twists and turns on tax, yeah, twists and turns on taxes and the fact that we have had a meaningful, uh, meaningful rally on the back of it already. So, and and with the prospect of a shutdown, uh, I, I think markets pricing a little bit of that risk. At some point, that will fade as well. But you, so you would still buy stocks today, even at these levels? Absolutely. I think for long-term investors, what we are going through is a really good combination of things. Synchronized global growth, policy remaining very supportive, and now tax rates coming down meaningfully for U.S. corporates. So it's a good environment. That is great. Krishna, great to have you on the program today. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. Krishna Mamani from Oppenheimer Funds.